I know Miami, the goal is to make the playoffs. And I think they could make the playoffs because they would have to go, they would have to win eight out of 12 plus a draw. So they would have to is, pretty much yeah. go unbeaten out of nine games, like eight, eight wins, one draw, three losses to have a chance to, because based on how the points line up. And the problem is the schedule is going to be super, super condensed. And how much can you play 90 minutes, especially with somebody like Busquets, who's really old, not the most athletic person. And then on top of that, MLS has to play th- because of this tournament, which is some of the reasons why people don't like it. They have to play through an international window. So Messi might get called up to Argentina midseason and might miss some games. Oh, no, that's that could be I didn't, that I didn't could be detrimental. That. Yeah, so that's a I mean, that's a big RIP to the team if that happens. What do you mean? That will be that Well, I mean, yeah, and I, I, I want to say RIP. I don't, if I don't been the bottom. <laughs> yeah, and I I don't know. I mean, like I said, there's still other pieces that were added to this team. I think the schedule for the rest of the regular season is semi favorable, and I think even with Messi gone, at the end of the day, it's MLS. You can still win, and I think they could. I mean, if the other talent is able to step up, and uh, play well and play to their level especially if you're keeping the likes of a blue skets and a jordi out like and then you're bringing in these new young guys if hopefully they can acclimate and play well like you can still potentially win with him being gone but it's also not just him gone you're talking about obviously the new sensation that everybody's talking about robert taylor he might get called up you're talking about one of our defenders might get called up you're talking about a lot of players that potentially might get called up during this window that could really really hurt and that's the one thing yeah. that I really don't like about this League's Cup tournament is because now they're f- kind of forcing this tournament into the schedule. You're you're forcing a lot of things to condense and being and having games to have to play through international windows, which means and Miami normally has a lot of international players, right? Yeah, I mean a lot of those players are probably going to get called up depending. The good thing, the one thing that makes me think potentially not is that I mean it's a September window. There's nothing really going on. Really what they're going to play is friendlies the thing is any players from south america south america is going through world cup qualifiers this uh this window so those are very important games so messi might get called up for for those as for the other players they might opt out of it they might not get called out because obviously like the season's really pressing right now um but as for like messi and like um our other player who's ecuadorian who might get called up to the ecuadorian team those are pretty important games. Those are World Cup qualifiers. Obviously, like you need those wins to qualify for the World Cup. So that's my only thing that keeping me away from like truly saying they're going to make the playoffs because I don't know how yeah, that I mean, shakes it may, out. It and then also, it's realistic, right, to have those expectations. Now I can see that if you explain um, this more, you know, to the picture, more to the story. Uh, of what's going on, you know, for yeah, the rest and then of the I can show you the schedule too. Like the dates are super tight, man. Yeah. Um, Bro, this sounds all complicated. Here. Like, yo, like yeah. MLS and soccer or football. Like, there's so much going on at once. Because I'm it's just like it's does this happen played in everywhere all sport? the time. Like, does this happen everywhere all the time? The, I like, love imagine it, dude. in the NFL, it's awesome. like, yo, like, uh, you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes, he might he might get called up to the Canadian leagues. So I don't know if he can go to. The- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, specifically, yeah, that's an MLS issue. MLS yeah, decided yeah, because yeah. of this tournament. Now, yeah. normally, you don't club play stops during international windows. Club play stops. Players get called up. They go to their their respective national team. But because of this, they're squeezing it in and all this other stuff. But here, I'll pull up the schedule right here, um, and let's zoom in a little bit, and you'll see kind of how tight. The schedule is going to be. Yeah. So obviously so the Charlotte game is getting postponed because one of them is going yeah. to advance, most likely Miami. They, they that this game was scheduled the day after what would be either a third place. Because they thought Miami was uh, going to lose. Game, <laughs> third place game, thought- or honestly, no one thought Charlotte was going to make it. But I mean, no matter what, if Miami advanced, they would have to postpone it regardless because the third place or the championship game would have been the day before this this game was scheduled. So say they play the nineteenth. Um, one uh, now you're talking about four days later. You got a, your Open Cup semifinal, which maybe they don't take it seriously because maybe they already qualified for League's Cup. They qualified for the Champions League through League's Cup, so maybe they sacrifice the Open Cup so they don't have to 
because they don't need to win it anymore. Because the so only way you qualify is the Open Cup. They have two ways, they have two ways to get in. You either you win the Open yeah. Cup or you get top three in League's Cup. Top if they get the top three in League's yeah. Cup, I'm really curious to see how they handle the Open Cup. Like, do they want to go for the double? You go for the double, you get the two what trophies you get out in of that, season. But aside, like, just two trophies, but you still qualify for the same tournament. Trophies, so money. Just, just, okay. Well, it, yeah, you would get money. It would be money. Yeah. Money's not that big. It would really just... The biggest thing with the open cup is you just it gives you a a berth it qualifies you if you win the whole thing yeah yeah. i don't know if miami really cares at that point if they do it unless they just want to win it for the sake of getting another trophy which right now the trophy cabinet is pretty empty right now so who am i getting a double (laughs) like i mean shit if they maybe they make the final they make the they make the playoffs and then they get the the mls cup now you got a, a treble you get the treble you got three trophies in one season that's some but yeah, I mean, depending how that goes, you got the third, the twenty third. Three days later, you have New York Red Bulls at New York Red Bulls. Four days later, you got Nashville. Three, four days later, you got LAFC. Then you get a little bit of a break with a six day oh, break, six day break with yeah. with Sporting KC, and now you finally get a full week, a, a week. with with Atlanta. So, I mean, but then you go right back into four days later, Toronto, four days later, Orlando, and then six days later, uh, New York City FC. So, I mean, like, and then you got Chicago, yeah, about jam-packed. five days, yeah. and, then running you got, the and then another for, three for days, since, every game. Yeah. and then another three days, you got Cincinnati, and then you got a two-week break with Charlotte, but... That game up here got postponed, so more than likely, they're probably going to... I don't know how they squeeze it anywhere else. I mean, do you really want them to play the 14th and play Charlotte back-to-back? That'd be really weird to have them play back-to-back, but honestly, that's the only fucking window available is the 7th through the 21st. So it's really odd, but I mean, as you you guys wouldn't know because you don't really follow the league, but I mean, these aren't the toughest of teams outside of like LAFC. Um, these are all very and Cincinnati. These are all very winnable games, and I genuinely think they could potentially make the playoffs. It all just depends what happens in this month of September, where you have literally one, two, three, four, five, six games in one month, which is pretty fucking wild. Um, especially since you traditionally only play once a week, sometimes twice. Um, but yeah it's it's pretty crazy we'll um see, man. i guess we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens um i'm glad that hey, you man. guys are starting to slowly fall in love with the world sport and the beautiful game um i hope to see well, i wouldn't say i wouldn't say fall in love but understand yes i'm definitely starting to understand 